Please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered. Hello guys and welcome down to this brand new Ride Sims live stream. I am Luke and you're watching Coaster Gen. Today, in case you didn't guess it, we are playing the brand new beta from Ride Sims 2. And it is Duel, the Haunted House Strikes Back. But this is the um, first change from the Haunted House to Duel with the, the guns and the blasters and everything. So yeah, how is everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. We do loads of cool things. We've got some awesome stuff coming up soon on the channel as well. Hello to everyone in the chat. Hope you're all doing well. Hello, Adam. Hello, Ben. Hello, Wrightson. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Tomster. Uh, we've got Charlie. We've got Fiend Park Fox as well. Hello, everybody who's tuning in. Thank you so much for joining us on a Saturday evening. Hope you're all doing very well. <clears throat> so straight from the off, we can see that we have lights as an option and turn all the, the stage lights on. We've got peeps, we've got average, quiet and busy. I'm going to run with busy because this is only going to be an hour long stream. So there we go. So hopefully this works. I know that ride sims have been very, very, working very, very hard and trying to turn this around for everyone. So yeah. If you do have any questions in the chat, please do fire away and I will answer them as quickly as possible. But for now, let's get stuck in to Jewel. Wow, look at that. What a bird's eye view that is. So, we have to power on the system. We're going to have to reset the blocks, put into maintenance mode. Oh, we don't even have to put it into maintenance mode. Ah, there we go. Right, ride start. So let's start the ride. And there we go. Let's open the queue line. We have a view of the station and an overview. So that's all we've got. Oh, the travel tunnel's moving. Wow. You fixed it, Ride Sims. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> In the mech, you've got station jogging as well. I'm guessing that's when they jump on the back and open the control panel up and move it forward. I don't think we'll have to mess around with that. I'm not sure. Wow, this is cool. Alright, let's load some cars. <laughs> Love it. Spiders. This is awesome. I'm trying to look at everything that's going on, but I just can't keep up. It's just, it's crazy. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep loading cars. <laughs> hey Sam! Are you scared of spiders? Yeah! <laughs> Love Jewel. Jewel's awesome. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think it looks absolutely incredible. <laughs> Is it a really clever way of doing it? There are so many cars! The hell? Please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered. Better get more points for pressing the tannoy. Oh, so it's got keyboard commands. Okay, that's cool. I don't use keyboard commands anymore. It's just easier for me to um just easier for me to use the mouse when I'm streaming. Thirty four cars in total. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. What's everyone's favorite bit of Jewel in real life? Let me know. <laughs> yeah. 
You can just hear the uh, the little bits here and there, just creeping in. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is genuinely so cool. I love the part where the weird guy flips the lever and it sparks. Yeah, same. Ride slap in the middle of the ride. <laughs> I like the Undertaker uh, in the graveyard scene when he goes, Ah. Oh. <laughs> I love that bit. It's so good. Electric bill. That's it. The vehicles have two rows of seats, with three people in the front and two in the back. So please group prior to boarding. Children must have a seat of their own. Store all loose articles on the Yeah, they did say it was a next gen right. I mean, it's a next gen street, uh, next gen sim. That helps. They did delay it. They had some technical issues with the next gen sim, and the next one will be released next month. Okay. Interesting. Answers on a postcard. Guys, what do you think it's going to be, the next sim? What would you like to see from Ride Sims? Let us know in the chat. Um, I think they'll do a bit of a refurb. Um, I believe, though, they have a situation with the Trammel Tunnel similar to what the Yeti has on Expedition Everest. Um, and I've been thinking this for many years. It's literally part of the structure. It has to be. Um, but I've always thought this. Like The reason why the Yeti couldn't be fixed on Expedition Everest is because it was part of the actual structure of the building. I think the Trommel Tunnel may be similar. I know it's part of the building in the Ghost Train at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's how they're designed. But I don't think they'll ever get it fixed. There'll be certain areas where they won't be able to do anything either just because of how old the building is as well. You've got to think though, this building's very old. Um, yeah. Oh, correct. The Trammel Tunnel would require the roof to be partially removed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think if they if they just um, uh, it was installed before the cladding was. Oh, wow. Okay. Some priority. What? How do I load them? You. Uh, I don't... Down arrow key. Okay. So do I have to press the down arrow key? Um. Oh, there you go. That's how many cars there are. Um, how do I do the... I'm missing something here, aren't I? Oh, station stop. Oh, of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> my bad! Of course. That makes perfect sense. Good shout. Shockwave on ride sims would be epic. Whoa, that's a good shout. No one said shockwave before. Impact Planet, that's a good suggestion, I like that. <laughs> right, Sims make Drayton Man a shockwave, there you go, you've been, been asked. The 
just have to move it and then stop. And then do priority loading. Please don't touch your blaster until the safety Why won't it allow me to load priority? Have to be a ride stop? Oh, I get it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm still waiting for Adventure Cove Rapids as a sim. I mean, yeah, they could probably do them both at the same time. Yeah, this is Jewel from a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, this is Jewel from... Um, I don't know what. 2000 and... Uh, 2015, 16 era. No, Ben, nobody wants to operate sick. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so weird saying that, but it's 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 so true. No one wants to operate sick. This would be perfect for a doctor. Doctor what? <laughs> Those water dummies falling out was pretty bad for the park. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Awful name. <laughs> Look, don't have a go at me. I was just reporting on it. Like I literally did a post on our Facebook page, and everyone was like. What a bad name. This is such a bad name. I'm like, I didn't name it. <laughs> I didn't name it. Apparently, it's supposed to open on July the 2nd as well, but I'll be in Florida um, on that date. More to the point, I think I will actually be at Bush Gardens. <laughs> they really don't have a clue, Flamingo Land. Oh my god. See, I was going to do a live stream and ask you guys, like, what you thought of, like, <laughs> the whole Flamingo Land fiasco with the name and everything. This would be perfect for a Doctor Who themed dark ride if they rethemed it. Huh. Yeah. Not a bad shout. Good area for it. We need the Alton Towers monorail back. Definitely. A 10 inversion coaster theme to clothing. Yeah, six silk. So apparently, um, the boss of Flamingo Land is good friends with the boss of six silk. And they've been providing uniform for a while or something. Let's listen to the Tanoi. Oh, what's my dream sim? Um, it's such a difficult question, but if I was to... Uh, if I was actually to request a sim, I think it would be Velocicoaster right now. Yeah, I think, I think it would be Velocicoaster. Uh, fun fact from Ride Sims, this is actually our version 2 dual simulator. We made the original back in the Alton Towers fan site. We rebuilt uh, and drew this from the ground up. Wow. Nice. Yeah, you can tell. It looks like really, really well done. Please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered. Bum, 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 bum. I hope they bring back Nemesis Subterra and Stormforce 10 on Ride Sims like they brought Rita back. Um, Subterra, I, I, I honestly think that would do very, very, very well. With it not being in the park now, I think it would never be able to do it as well. Like, get away with it.
Uh, I, I believe so, Ben. He may have done some other stuff just before that, but... Nemesis. I, I would I would love Subterra to come back. So I remember when I was first streaming, um, when I was first streaming um, Ride Sims, and I went and found their old simulators because I used to play them uh, back in the day, and I streamed one of Nemesis, and <laughs> I I got a message from Ride Sims like, "Yeah, we're gonna, you know, <laughs> this isn't this isn't the new Ride Sims." I was like, "All oh, right, I thought it was all the same stuff." <laughs> Yeah, I've not been to visit Mardi Gras yet. Um, I probably won't get a chance this year, actually, with uh, me going to Florida in 20 days. Yeah, 20 days today. I'll be in the... I will be landing now, actually, I think. No, I won't. That's a lie. I'll be halfway across the sea somewhere. <laughs> and then... We'll be getting our transfer to the hotel, and then we'll be going Walmart and to Ross, well, to some of the outlets, and then we'll be going to Universal Studios straight away. Velocicoaster Night Ride will be my first ride in Florida. Quick suggestion, Ride Sims, from what I've already seen so far, everything's working perfectly. Um, this Tanoi button, I think this should just be. Please don't touch your blasters, because then you could do every dispatch. That, that would be nice. Because at the moment, I have to click it and then go through the cycle of that other thing. It'd be nice if that was just literally, please do not touch your blasters. We are staying off-site um, just on International Drive. A really nice hotel complex, yeah. Please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered. That's not the one I wanted to press. Tom, stop flexing. <laughs> yeah, I I've never been. Uh, yeah, stand-up coaster. So the surf coaster uh, that we've all been... Um, thinking about and talking about for over a year now is actually a B&M next gen stand up coaster with like looks like vest restraints completely completely new restraint model and it's going to be awesome i think it's going to be amazing it's going to be awesome i can't wait uh, I'm going to obviously as well when I go to SeaWorld, I'm only going to SeaWorld once, but I will try and film some construction of the um, of the new surf coaster. I, I think, so it doesn't have a zero, well it does have a zero G, but it looks like it kind of, kind of floats into it instead of just going straight up like Shockwave does. So uh, uh, whether it be actual zero G or just a bow roll or a corkscrew, I'm not sure. But we'll find out when we see the full layout. Please don't touch your blaster until the house of screwed. Yeah, I thought so. Guys, there's 11 people watching. It's a Saturday night. If you do me a massive favor, could you hit that thumbs up button? Let's have a thumbs up party, please, because you know James hates it. Thumbs up party for James. Let's go. Let's get this up to 20 likes if we can, guys. That would be amazing. There we go. I love the way that Shockwave, one of the, the weirdest sensations I've ever had on a roller coaster was doing that zero G roll on Shockwave. It literally just looked like, you know, it just looked like <laughs> I was jumping. <laughs> it was like, it was not airtime. It was literally tiptoe time. Do you know what I mean? It was, it was amazing. It was so good. Already done it. Nice one. Thank you. Wait, were we like at 13 likes a minute ago? YouTube's weird. There we go. 
Uh, did you know Drayton regretted buying Shockwave? Yes, so, um, didn't, uh, oh, what you call the Bryans? Brian family? I want to say Brian family, but I don't think it is Brian family. Um, said that they wanted to, they should have bought an invert. Didn't they? That's what they originally said. Hey Jess, hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we don't feel like you've had enough of any breakdown anytime. <laughs> no, I've definitely got breakdowns turned on. I'm seeing things. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's them zombies or them spiders. I don't know. Did you know that haunting at Drayton Manor is the world's second for coming madhouse? Yeah. On holiday in Cornwall. Well, I'll check you out. That sounds fun. Priority guests. Oh yeah, they are waiting. Yep. See, what concerns me about this is that I know this is a live website, and when ride sims are in the chat, they can make things happen to the live build. I'm convinced. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is fact. <laughs> Every time they've joined us and they're like, oh, there's not enough breakdowns. Pablo starts working on overtime and, you know, we can't do much about that. They're just going to keep on throwing breakdowns at us. It goes from silly to spooky in a second. Yeah. Ride Sims will make it break down. <laughs> No worries, Adam. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, the Hex pre-show gets boring. Ooh. See? See? Look. It broke down. <laughs> Can we get a Pablo in the chat, please? He's just had a nice quiet morning. Just, uh, just operating. I'm working around Dalton Towers today. And... He's now been called upon. Look at our little priority. Uh, who the hell is Pablo? Karen, you've been watching these streams for ages. This is the mechanic that we have. <laughs> you've been seeing you say it before. <laughs> Oh no. Hey Lev. Hello there. Yeah, I, I might change I might change the mechanic's name to Lev. Have I removed the car yet? No. <laughs> there is not an engineer at Towers called Pablo. Not having that on. My Discord DM. I will do after the stream. <laughs> there is. Wow. Okay, well, Pablo is our engineer for the day. Still. <laughs> That's insane. What are my thoughts on the haunting? The pre-show sucks. Uh, and then you go through. When, once you actually get onto the ride, it's great. But the pre-show is just diabolical. Don't like it. Yeah, the haunting pre-show is not very good. It's very cheesy. Um, don't like the video. I think the video could be better. The Madhouse section of it as well, I think the audio needs updating in there. I think, in fact, to be honest with you, the whole audio of The Haunting needs improving. And I, I would say the story probably needs improving as well. Yeah, once you get into the house, like once you get into the house, the first pre show is great with what happens, no spoilers, even though it's been out for like years. But. Uh, it's just, yeah, like you say, it's just so cheesy at the start. Oof! 
NF attractions with a burn there. At least the haunting still works. Sunlight Hex. Wow. Statement. You're not wrong. I'm sure Hex will be back. When I was at Pleasure Beach during the first late night ride of the season, I met up with two ride engineers who worked at Alton Towers. And they showed me some photos you don't see unless you're an engineer. Ooh, wow. Nice. I, I just don't think they need to tell anyone. Uh, they just need to say, basically, Hex is being repaired. Uh... And that's thing. Can you do more Ride Sims 2 without live streaming? No. There's your answer. I'm sure Hex will be back. Definitely will be back. Um, I think that um, they will... Uh, whatever's up with it, they'll just fix it and improve it. That I. I don't, I don't think Enterprise is coming back, though. I think that's a lost cause, Ben. Same met, but there's. I'm thinking that. Hang on. Uh, those show car numbers. Um. Give it a second; it will show you the car to remove soon. Remove. Oh, is that what it's saying? There's a car that needs removing. Oh, okay. Well, for now, then I'll just. Uh. <clears throat> Wants me to remove a car. Number eight. Where's number eight? Oh, of course, that's on the track. <laughs> oh, great. Right, okay. The so number eight needs to come off, and I bet it's got people on it. Has it got people on it? Can't tell. Let me turn the car numbers off. No, number eight's blank. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered. Hex could be waiting for a part. Yeah, it probably could be. There is a lot of delay on um, supply chains at the moment across everywhere. Need to keep the car numbers up, unfortunately, because I need to keep an eye on number eight. Now, I don't know how to remove it. I'm guessing I leave it on this section here and then remove it. Guess we'll find out. Um, where's eight going through the travel tunnel? Okay, so it's a while off yet. You guys enjoying the sim? What do you think about this sim? So um, to play this right now, you need to go to ridesims.com forward slash ridesims plus and sign up for ridesims plus on Patreon as well. To patreon.com forward slash ridesims. £10 a month or more. 
and you get access to Ride Sims Plus to be able to play all of the latest betas, first developers' blogs, and all that good stuff. And you also get access to Peep. So you get access to the Peep, so you want it quite average or busy throughout your sim. That is a perk for Ride Sims Plus members. To remove it, it needs to get through the station area and then just before switch one, you need to then switch it to maintenance mode. Switch it and then go to the mech panel and click remove. Oh, so, it, oh, so I could have done it earlier. Right. Okay. Where is number eight at the moment? Alright, it's going through spiders. <laughs> there are rumours that Valhalla won't open until 2023. <laughs> I hope not. They've had a lot of time to do that. I'm not being funny. <laughs> the share is Elpa Enzo on there quick enough and charge money for it. So yeah, what do you guys think of this sim? Let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions for after this stream, if it goes live, please just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. <clears throat> We've got some very exciting content coming up soon. Don't get me started on the cost of Enzo. <laughs> All right, it's just going into the uh, zombie blaster area now. So it's not this switch track, it's that one. Right. Ooh, pressure. I don't know why, it's just it's got a lot of pressure. It's brilliant, everything's working. <laughs> yeah, this sim's awesome. It's actually, um, I don't, you don't really do much other than just, well, I'm about to do, which is take number eight off. I just need to be careful now in loading guests. Can you do rock and roller coaster with Aerosmith? Uh, maybe at some point. Maybe. Right, Sims, make. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Make the um, number of the car red that needs removing so you can track it. That's a great idea from Matthew Robertson there. Nice. Right. I'm gonna... No, no. I'm not... No, not yet. Let's not... Let's not destroy the throughput. We're doing pretty well on throughput, I think. So six is loaded. No. Five's loaded. But... Oh, it's E stops. Just as... Uh, just... Pablo! <laughs> oh, I, I don't believe it. After all of that pressure. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. We can still do this. Load six. No? Did that load six? It did load six. One person. Why are you on your own? Load seven. Right, we don't load eight. We don't load eight. So as far as I'm concerned now, I'm gonna go into mech mode. And I'm gonna turn that off. And when number eight creeps round to here, I'm gonna do a ride stop, and then I'm gonna send it to mech bay. A question for everyone. What would you do with Jewel if you could revamp it or change it? Oh, here comes number six. I feel like a bingo hall call or something. Move it and put an RMC inside. <laughs> nice. All right, the station is... No, no, the stop station is not being stopped. So, um, now the station can be stopped because it's not on the ride yet. Well, when, when can I actually... 
Station stop. Yeah. Mac Bay. Right stop. Right, right stop. Oh, it didn't switch. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no! Damn it! I mistimed it completely. <sighs> All right. All right. No! You missed it. <laughs> That's not but surely though right if station stop would stop so yeah that should stop the ride there that should stop the ride there that shouldn't be that close to the switch track surely right seems very close you know fail yeah Ha ha ha! We'll get there. Pablo's like, will you, will you please just take this train off? It's causing havoc. Attempt two. Yes. Number eight is now somehow still on the track, even though it's broken. By the time it gets round there, there'll be another five other cars that need taking off the track. <laughs> right. It wouldn't be a Coaster Gen Ride Sim stream if I didn't do something wrong, right? We're all in agreement of that, right? In the chat. An evac option. Yeah, why not? Happens in real life sometimes. Vehicles have two rows of seats, with three people in the front and two in the back. So please group prior to board. Children must have a seat of their own. Store all loose articles on the floor of your vehicle. Wait for the safety bar to lower fully before removing your blaster. Expect UV lights, strobe effects, smoke, and the unexpected. Refrain from eating, drinking, or smoking during your adventure. Your mission is to shoot as many green targets as possible. Green targets. will increase your score. For higher many scores, as possible. Get yellow targets on the ghouls, spiders, and zombies. They may shoot back, but remember. Please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered. <laughs> oh no, not again. Pablo! We need to get number eight off. It's causing chaos on the track system. Another breakdown. He's stopped by the engineer. That's just not good enough. It's not a good enough excuse. Tom, sort yourself out. <laughs> it really did get revenge, yeah. <laughs> um. Let's switch one to Murphy. Right, got you. Oh, I'm not in five more. Where's number eight? Okay, number eight is about to get to the station. It's literally about four turns off. Ah, so so how it works dual then is that this switch one basically enables you to take cars off and then it runs it back through the system and then it switches it back on the back end. Good to know. I've always wondered what that um, track is that you see straight in front of you of the first turn. That's cool. That's cool. Right, let's see if I can get this right. N no pressure. There's no pressure, number eight. There it is. He 
stop. Just like last time, it won't get me this time. I'm prepared. I am prepared for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a masters in dual operation. Watch me. When it runs through the system where the mech workshop is, you can pack the train and hoist them, maintain them, and then send them back round the back, to the back of the right. Oh, that's interesting. Nice. And Tom with the flex there. So five is full, and then six will be full uh, in a second. But remember, oh, I didn't work. Damn it. No. Ah. Number seven. I'm gonna leave seven and eight empty. Yeah, I'm gonna leave seven and eight empty. Right, maintenance. Switch one. Come on now. Not as cool as it sounds. I had to clean the drivetrain for Joe the warm water. It's wearing gloves. <laughs> All right, chat. Can I do it? Can I do it? Sorry, Sam. I saw you had a really cool thing. Uh, I'll have a look in a minute. <laughs> All right. Can we do the switch? Switch one. Switch one. Yes. I did it. Um. Um, remove car. Ha <laughs> Yes. I did it. Look at it go. It's off to get fixed by Tom. All right. Go to circuit. Switch back to normal mode. Boom. Hey. <laughs> Round of applause to me in the chat. Uh, Sam Spire, speaking of masters, I got my project results. It looks like I'm going to be, a, uh, I'm going to be a graduation with a first. Congratulations, Sam. That's awesome work. Well done, mate. Boom. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. I needed that. Self confidence. I need that. I can, I can do it. So, is it fixed? No, but yeah. I'm gonna add it back onto the track. Feeling cocky. <laughs> Can I actually add it back on yet? No, I can't. It's been, it's been cleaned with hot soapy water by Tom. With gloves on. Pablo and Tom are chilling out in the mech bay. That is a big ass cue for Jewel. 112 people. How many people can the, the building hold? Um, right, Sims? Do you know the question? The answer to that. Do you know the answer to that question? How many people in the building can actually hold in the, in the queue line inside the house? Jewel never gets his. You say that, but when it was the attraction source takeover, it had a very big queue. Yeah, I wonder how many it can actually hold in the house. Because obviously you've got. I, I see you've actually put in the new. Well, I didn't even notice that, but you've actually put the new queue line in. Like you've got it goes round the doll's house now instead of through it. I didn't notice that until just after. <laughs> cool. Then the car number's off now. I seen Jill Q go through the full extension the other day. Well, half of the extension isn't open anymore because it's 
a biohazard. <laughs> it's, it's a trip hazard, it's a biohazard and everything above. I think Tom should get a jet wash and clean it all while he's working at Towers. Yeah, Jewel in general needs a touch up of paint. Apparently, Jewel can handle 1,920 riders per hour. Look, I'll go and rob the gardeners from their shed. Any plans for Europe? Um, with the States trip coming up uh, in 20 days, not quite yet, but I'm thinking next year, 2023, will definitely be a year for Europe. Um, or maybe towards the back end of the year, I would love to get to Efteling, Bev. I'd love that. I'd love to spend a day there with you as well. That would be amazing. Um, I just have to get Florida done with and then we'll have to go from there. Yeah, it'd be incredible. I know that, um, I know it's not quite Europe, but I know that Aaron's going to Skegness. Um, this week coming up so he's going to be taking his camera with him and he'll be filming down at um, fantasy island well that'll be fun to watch i really want to go to fantasia land it looks amazing yeah fantasia land yeah add the car back on it's not fixed is it i don't know if it's fixed or not um okay let's try We've got a gap there. If I do a ride stop, uh, switch to Mech Bay. Mech. Add car. Mech. And then do a switch. I did it. Look at that. Look at me putting all the cars out of order. <laughs> oh no, we've got 13, 8, 14. No! Oh, that's, that hurts. That hurts my brain. <laughs> no, why did I do that? Why did you make me do that? Sorry, Tom. I'm annoyed myself, mate. Absolute nightmare operator. <laughs> oh, no. That's a good question, Ben. What is the best airport to fly into that is not too far to travel to Etheling? Priority peeps waiting. Oh, they are as well. They can wait a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Doesn't matter. Eindhoven or Amsterdam. There you go. And uh, Lev worked at Efteling, so he knows. <laughs> See, I love how Efteling looks, but I'm terrified of the dive coaster. Yeah, Baron looks insane. Let me get the highest score so far if I keep going. Well, I've got, I've got 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go and we'll see. <laughs> but it's running really well. I'm not seeing any glitches. Oh, 68,400. Please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered. That's what I think about that. I don't think I've got time to do that. Oblivion is insane. Oblivion is insane, though. I, I remember the um, the first ride we did with Attraction Sauce when we did the ERT in the morning. And we actually got... We actually got a three-second hold. Um, 
I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Oh, Sam, you've got to get on Oblivion. It's amazing. You won't regret it. it it's very intimidating, and I get it. For a lot of people, it's so intimidating. Massive B&M track, massive coaster. The noise it makes as it goes through the tunnel, but... Oh, it's such an airtime machine. Yeah, the old time, the, the, the whole time's weird. I know this 28 minutes by car and 1 hour 36 with bus. Amsterdam is 1 hour 30 by car and 2 hours 30 with train and bus. Nice. I'm doing well given I wouldn't even touch a coaster three years ago. <laughs> yeah, fair play. Keep going, keep going at your own pace. I'm sure you'll get on it. It's an amazing roller coaster though. Uh, I hope you do get to experience it. I hope everybody experiences Oblivion once. Uh, mate, I shout it loud enough anyway when I'm up there. Don't, don't, look, 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 down, down, down. I always do that when I'm up there. It probably annoys everyone who I ride with, but that's what it is. <laughs> Oh, Lev, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much. That would make life so much easier. <laughs> I will definitely have to have a conversation about that. Yeah, I'm going to try 70,000. Let's go. I have to play it for an hour constant. No! Got the breakdown. A limited power. Tom, fix the ride. Get the sponge. There we go. And we're back. Um. Yeah, Lev, that would be incredible. Sam, you've ridden Shambhala, but you haven't ridden Oblivion. Really? <laughs> You can do it. Did you do Harak and Condor, the drop tower? And did you do Red Force? Oh, by the way, guys, while I have you here, I did a podcast with my friend Mike. Um, he runs a podcast called uh, Thematically Speaking on his channel, Love to Explore. The link is in our, on our social media and it's on our community tab as well on, on YouTube. If you haven't seen it yet, please go and check it out and please do give them a subscribe. They've had some fantastic guests. They've had some past scare actors as well. Um, they've had some notorious names as well in the theme park industry on there. I won't spoil it for who it is, but you need to go and check out the channel and check, check out what they've done and who they've spoken to. They also do vlogs as well at theme parks and all kind of wacky attractions. So please go and check out their channel after you've watched this stream and give them a subscribe. They really deserve it. Um, I think they're about 120 subscribers now. If we can get them to 150, that would be great, guys. But please, check out our community tab. Check out Love to Explore. And subscribe to Mike and Stacy on YouTube. Awesome people. They've been friends of mine for many, many years. I think you guys will really like the channel. Uh, no drop towers are way out of my league. Uh, we didn't do Ferrari Land. Uh, oh, yeah. So it's expensive, isn't it, to do Ferrari Land and Port Ventura? Um, it's like 90 euros on the door. <laughs> it's just expensive. All right, 68,100. Big to 70,000. First, message from our sponsor. This guy. Please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered. That was smooth. And you know it. Everyone should hit the thumbs up button for that little smooth thing I just did there.
it doesn't warrant being a separate park. No, it should just be a themed area of Post Adventure World. I don't know, man, for good luck. <laughs> 69,800, let's go. I agree, Sam. Yeah, make it a Italy slash Rome area of the park. Because they've got Western, they've got the Himalayans, they've got China, they have uh, Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. So yeah, turning Ferrari World into Rome would be perfect. All right, here we go. I think the score is going to come in in a minute. There it is. 71,700. A new record for Ryzen's Jewel. And I've still got five minutes left. So let's see if we can get to 80, shall we? Let's go. Now we're non-stop operating. Taking car eight off, which is definitely after six and seven. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the La Liga thing that's happening at Ports Ventura World. I don't know, but I know that, um, obviously, Barcelona's an hour drive from uh, Salou, so that's a big part of it, but they ain't winning much at the moment in <laughs> Madrid. <laughs> yeah, and they lost Messi, so I think that was, like, a big thing of it, you know? Theme parks and smiles. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. Number eight car, right, is is happy in between thirteen and fourteen. That is that is you know that's how you count. <laughs> oh, can we get to eighty thousand within four minutes? Let's see. I don't know if we can or not. Do my best. It's definitely logical. Guys, if you are enjoying this video and you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. We have some amazing content coming up on the channel. And we also have over 500 videos that you can watch. Can you believe that? That we've actually done over 300 Ride Sim streams as well in the past. 300. <laughs> Insane. Insane. So there's plenty to check out. All the Ride Sims streams are in a playlist. All of our No Limit stuff is in a playlist. All our theme park vlogs are in a playlist. And all our podcasts are in a playlist. So, yeah, if you are new, please consider subscribing. Check out our website as well, coastergen.com. That's been reworked and relaunched. We're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. Also got some brand new merch that we brought out. Everybody like the new merch? And we've uh, relaunched our old retro logo. Thank you so much to Ross, um, who redrew it basically and illustrated for us. I couldn't be more appreciative of it. I lost that logo because I lost the original illustration file. That's a little bit of a behind the scenes for you. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got it back now, so I'm happy. Happy. I love that logo. All right, we've got two minutes. We're at 77,300. I'm going to go to 80,000 and then I'm going to stop. But you guys have been awesome as always in the chat. And if you have any suggestions for ride sims, let them know. They're still in the chat now. You've got two minutes to tell them. What would you like to see on Ritems next? Tell them, tell them that you want Velocicoaster. You, you all want Velocicoaster, right? You need it. That needs to happen. I'm not trying to tell you what to say, but you know. <laughs> so someone just goes, <laughs> Adventure Cove Rapids. 
Symbolica! <laughs> Oblivion. I just, yeah, it would just be a stream of just. That's all it'd be. Don't look down. That's what it would be. Literally, that would be the stream. Aaron and the yellow duck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the duck merch was Aaron's idea. Full credit to Aaron for that. Eighty thousand four hundred, we've done it within an hour. We've done it. We have Done it. We've reached the target of 80,000. I was only trying to get 70,000 before, but now I've reached 80,000. <sighs> nice. So, guys, that was Jill, the Haunted House Strikes Back. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you're all going to sign up to Ride Sims Plus. And get on this sim it's absolutely fantastic i've really enjoyed streaming tonight guys it's been awesome as always to everybody who's been in the chat and everybody who's watching this on playback thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe follow us on all our socials but for now i've been luke and we've been coaster gen and remember this is the most important thing you can remember right please don't touch your blaster until the safety bar has lowered thank you so much guys we'll see you later